Hello students of class 8, welcome to my next online class. So this is the continuation video on the same exercise 8.3. So we have solved the questions from exercise 8.3 in my previous class that is question number 2 and question number 3 right. And I have, I have told that question number 1 is omitted so no need to do question number 1. So here in this video we will solve few questions from question number 4 that is from exercise 8.3. So what is the question here? Find the value of x if the ratios are in direct proportion that you see in the board. There are two questions. First, 15 is to 12 and x is to 36. Find the value of x and these ratios are in direct proportion. Okay. So as the question is saying that they are in direct proportion, so what will be the value of x? Let's see. So first question, it is given. 15 is to 12 and x is to 36 right so we have to get the value of x so what we do first we will write here x and y and these are the position this is x this is y this is x this is y i can say this one x2 y2 this is x1 y1 right so under the column of x you will write the x value that is 15 and x 12 and 36 right now as the question is of direct variation last class we have seen if it is of direct variation then we need to cross multiply that is 12 into x that is 12 x and 15 into 36 that is x equals to 15 into 36 divided by 12 12 3 the 36 right 3 15 to 45 so the value of x is 45 this is our required answer so what i have done here you see question number one i have noted down as it is and the first number I have marked it as x1 then y1 this is x2 and y2 then we will write x and y and under the column of x we will write first values that is 15 and x right in the second column we will be writing 12 and 36 now as it is a direct weight proportion so we need to cross multiply so on doing so we will get the value of x this is our required answer now if you see for the second question second question what we have x is 2 2 by 5 and 1 1 by 2 that means this can be written as 3 by 2 mixed fraction I have changed to improper fraction similarly here this can be written as 9 by 5 5 by 5 5 plus 4 that is 9 by 5 right again this question is of a direct proportion so I need to write here x and this is y this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 x1 and x2 this values to be written here 3 by 2 right Similarly in y column we have to write y1 and y2. So as it is of direct proportion as I have said and we have to cross multiply. So 9, 9 by 5 into x that is 9 by 5x and 2 by 5 into 3 by 2. Right? This and this called cross multiplied. So 2 and 2 got cancelled. What will have? 3 by 5 x. Now this will get cross multiplied in the next step. Right? So when it gets cross multiplied, you see x will be 3 by 5 as it is, this will not be changed. But when this 9 by 5 is going in other side, 5 will go up, 9 will come down. That means this is 5 and this is a 9, right? 5 by 5 will cancel, 3 1 is 3, 3 3 there, 9, that is 1 by 3 is the answer. Okay? So this is how we solve for the direct proportion, that is indirect multiplication. Second question we have, find the value of x if the ratios are in inverse proportion okay so same way like previous question we have 33 is to 11 and x is to 24 2.6 is to x and 7.6 is to 15.2 so these two questions we will be solving now it is in inverse proportion okay you see in my previous class as i have told suppose x and y is there and they are directly proportional so what was the sign x directly proportional to sign that means if x is increasing y is also increasing right but if it is inversely proportional, so how it is being mentioned, that is 1 by y, okay, that is mentioned in ratio. So, this concept we will be using in here, like for example, I will consider these and these are in inverse proportion, that is 33 is to 11 is inversely proportional. x is to 24 okay inversely proportional so 33 is to 11 can be written as what 33 by 11 
equals to inversely proportional this can be written as k or you can write 1 by x by 24 this is the meaning of inversely proportional so 33 is to line as it is x is to 24 means x by 24 but how it is related here inversely proportional so 1 by x is to 24 right so when you reciprocally 24 will be going up and this will be down so it is 33 by 11 now if you cross multiply here the cos to sign is there that means 33 into x 33 x and 24 into 11 so x equals to 24 into 11 divided by 33 right so 11 1 the 11 11 3 the 33 3 1 the 3 3 8 the 24 so value of x is 8 this is our required answer so similarly we will solve for next question using the same concept here so this is let us consider this is x and this is y right this total is x and this total is y so 2.6 is to x equals to 1 by 7.6 is to 15.2 this is the value 2.6 is to x this is x is inversely proportional to this now 2.6 is to x can be written as 2.6 by x and this can be written as 7.6 by 15.2 is to means divide now 15.2 will be going up that is 15.2 by 7.6 and here 2.6 by x cross multiply if you cross multiply here you will be getting 15.2 x equals to 7.6 into 2.6 or x can be written as 7.6 into 2.6 divided by 15.2 if this point will get removed then we will be getting a 100 in denominator and 152 in this point will remove then 10 will be going up right so this one I will be solving here you see so last value x will be 76 into 26 into 10 divided by 100 into 152 one zero and one zero got cancelled here right if I cancel by here by 2 2 7 is the 14 2 6 is the 12 2 13 is the 26 now 76 and 76 got cancelled so what we got here 13 and denominator we have 10 that is 1.3 is the answer ok do not get confused for this question what I have done you see once more so two numbers will be given like this, this and this, find inverse proportion. So 33 to 11 can be written as 33 by 11, inversely proportional let's say 1 by x by 24. Okay. So when you change this one, this 24 will be going up 24 by x, and if you cross multiply, you will get the value of x. Similarly, this is inversely proportional to this, that means this as it is equals to 1 by this. So 20.6 by x is 2.6 by x here. Now 1 by 7.6 is to 15 by 15.2 can be written as 7.6 by 15.2. Now this will be going up reciprocal, right? Now we have to cross multiply and we will get the answer. Question number 7. The interest earned on rupees 35,000 over a period of time is rupees 1400. How much interest will be earned by rupees 45,000 at the same rate of interest over double the period of time ok so this type of word problem first we will read the question properly and we will make two columns right you see what are the variables here the interest earned on rupees this that means this is our principal that means investment right and this is our interest By reading the sentence, we come to know the interest earned on rupees 35,000. That means this is an investment that is 35,000 over a period of time is 1400. So, this is an interest that is 1400 is an in interest. How much interest? Let us consider x is the interest. Okay, how much interest will be earned by rupees 45,000 at the same rate of interest over double the period of time? That means what will be the interest? Let the interest be x when you are submitting here 45,000 ok over
over the only period of time. Now, first we will calculate here whatever answer we will get, we will multiply by 2. Okay, so because double the time means here first for one time period how much we are getting, then that will multiply by 2. So, let us start here now. You see, investment and interest. If you invest more, that means you will get an interest more, right? So, more you are investing here, then more you will get interest. If you keep less money in your bank, then you will get less interest, right? So, this is a direct variation both when investment is increasing, interest is also increasing. That is being denoted by arrow, that is direct variation. So, as it is a direct variation, what you will do? We will cross multiply. That is 35,000 into x equals to 1400 into 45,000. So, x equals to 1400 into 45,000 divided by 35,000. So, 303 zero, zeros were cancelled. So, what we get here? x equals to 1400 into 45 divided by 35. 7 5 the 35, 7 to the 14, 200. Again, 5 9 the 45, 9 to the 18, that means 1800. Okay? But when the interest will be of double the time period, that means when time period is double interest will be 1800 into 2 that is 3600 is the answer ok I repeat first we will read the question the interest earned on rupees that means this is not the interest ok this is the investment and on the time period is 1400 this is the interest how much interest will be earned that means let us consider x be the interest let x be the interest earned ok so we will put x now when it is 45,000 at the same rate of interest over double the time period so investment is 45,000 what will be the interest first we will calculate interest whatever answer we will get in here we will multiply by 2 because in the question double the time period is given this is treatment Next question, a chef stores enough food to feed 15 days for 15 days. Okay, so a chef is there and he, he is storing food for 5 days for 15 days. If he wishes to finish all the food in only 3 days, how many more guests can he feed? So first we will make two columns here, that is number of guests and number of days. Number of guests, number of Days. Number of days is how much? 15 and 5. Number of days is 5. This means that if there are 15 guests, food will finish in 5 days. Okay. So, how many more person this safe will call so that the food should finish in 3 days? This is the question. And we have to find that how much more person is being added here. Right. So, let the number of Guess the x right so you see if guest will increase food will finish fast that means other will decrease right like if you call more guest then the food will finish very fast if you call less guest then the guest are less number of people is less then the food will last for longer so this what type of variation is this this is inverse variation. As it is inverse variation, we have seen that we have to directly multiply. That is 15 into 5 equals to 3 into x. Or x equals to 15 into 5 by 3. 3 5 is 15. So how much we are getting? 25. So 25 is the total number of guests. So how much more? What is the question? How many more guests can we feed? Number of more guests equals to 25 minus 15 initially it was 15 so for running for 3 days how much guest came? 25 that is 25 minus 15 that is 10 10 more guest initially it was 15 guest if I call more 10 guest then the food will fast in 3 days not in 5 days next question a summer cat with 60 children has enough provisions to last for 10 days. If 20 more children join the camp, 
how long will the provisions last provisions means here necessities okay it can be food it can be some necessary items so how many number of children are there here 60 children so first we will write here number of children okay and last for 10 days that is number of days so we will write it like this like previous question we used to write x and y so here we will be writing number of children and number of days so a summer camp with 60 children that means number of children is 60 has enough provisions to last for 10 days that means number of days will be 10 if 20 more children join the camp 20 more children that means initially it was 60 now if i add here 60 plus 20 now it becomes 80 students okay so 80 students when you join so how long will the provision last let us consider number of days be x so let the number of days be x right now you see when children will increase provision will finish fast right so more children if you get into this camp that means number of days will decrease similarly if less children are there then provision the necessary items will be last for long so as this is an inverse proportion or inverse variation so we will multiply directly that is 60 into 10 equals to 80 into x or x equals to 60 into 10 that is 600 divided by 80 0 0 got cancelled so 60 by 8 or 4 to the 8, 4 15 the, or 15 by 2 means 7.5, that means 7.5 days. So this is our required answer, right? On calculation we will get 7.5, so this is our required answer. So for 7.5 days, it will provision will last for this 80 children. When initially it was 60, now after that 20 joined, now 80 for 80 students, the provision will last for 7.5 days. So do these questions in your exercise book and see the video and do not copy the video uh, with the questions which I have solved in here directly in the exercise book. First you look, understand and try to solve by yourself. Okay. So for this class only this month, see you soon in my next online class.